What's up, Leo? How's it going? This is your general from September 1st through September 15th. Um, generals, I'm going to start doing bi-weekly and love, weedi love readings. Love readings. <laughs> love readings are going to stay weekly because it seems like that's what people are most concerned about. Um, also, in this one, I'm going to pull a Mother Mary Oracle card at the end of every general reading. So, it's a brand new deck and I don't know it by heart, so I'm going to have to refer to the book. Hopefully you don't mind. If you do, oh well, tough shit. I don't know it yet. And it took me half my life to memorize my tarot. So, it is what it is. Um, Alright, let's go, Leo. So, I also wanted to let you guys know, I don't know if I said before or not. Um, I do meditate and shuffle the cards prior to recording. Um, so, the shuffling that I do during the recording is just to get jumpers. Um... I don't like to pull the cards myself because I don't like to feel like I'm influencing them at all. So if I can try to get them to come out on their own, I will. Alright? your crowning energy which is basically your thoughts what's going on in your head right now how you're feeling <coughs> um you have the reverse five of wands i'll try to hold this so that you guys can see it it's dark in here but i have a lot of candles so fire energy aries leo sagittarius your energy um five of wands upright is is a battle card but it's petty it's like petty drama um competition you know, but you're, it's reversed. So you feel like you're coming out of this period of petty conflict. Maybe, I don't know, just some dumb shit people are doing around you. Something competitive. Right? Your past. So I also wanted to clarify that <coughs> in my readings, the past is, say, the week or two prior to the reading. It's not your distant past at all. So, if it was 10 years ago, that's not this past. Your present is the time during the reading, which would be the 1st through the 15th. Your future is the immediate future, so say the week or two after the reading. And your bottom card, your outcome, is the eventual outcome. If all of this stays the same, this is what the ultimate outcome is going to be. Um, now, we know that the probability of that happening is super slim because things are always changing. You could do something 10 minutes from now that could change this entire reading, right? Everybody has free will and things are constantly changing. So keep that in mind. Say the future card doesn't resonate with you at all in the next week or two. Well, then you change something in here. Like, almost everyone does. <laughs> okay? Um, Alright, let's go. So you pass. You have the magician. So awesome manifesting, guys. Whatever you were doing in the last week or two. The magician has all the elements. He, she has all of the tools that they need to accomplish their goals, right? It's you're taking all of your tools, all of your elements, everything that you need in you to create your future how you want it. So good job. Presently, you have the reverse page of cups. Now, pages are young energy, so it could pertain to a child, um, water sign child, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be a message. Um, if it is a message, it's going to be a pretty immature one, um, since pages are immature energy, and it's going to be pertaining to emotion. So maybe you got some sort of message that was super emotionally immature, right? Because it is reversed. Um, 
or you were waiting on some emotionally driven message and it didn't come. <clears throat> In your future, you have the Knight of Wands, more of your energy, also Aries Sagittarius. So Knights are one step up from pages, so it's still young energy. Not a kid, like a page, but still young. Um, Knights are very fast moving. Wands are the fastest moving of the knights. Um, if this pertains to a person, they're kind of an in and out person. They rush in and rush back out, so they're not very stable. Um, if it doesn't pertain to a person and it pertains to your energy, since you are fire, then it's fast moving action. It may not be permanent. Whatever it is that you're rushing into may just be spur of the moment, whatever, nothing wrong with that, you know, but it's fast moving. And down here in your outcome, you have the Knight of Cups, all these knights. All right, so again, knights are young energy, not kids, but young energy. Now the Knight of Cups is upright. So Knight of Cups is basically this charming, prince or princess type person comes rushing in with their cup of love to offer you. Um, not a bad thing, definitely not, but again, knights aren't the most mature. So while they may have good intentions rushing in with their cup or their wand or whatever, um, they're usually not permanent energy because they are immature. Okay. All right. So we clarify with the world spirit. I'm going to clarify first your reverse five of wands up in your crowning energy. What is this competition battle like bullshit that you are coming out of? So this isn't this isn't a battle type card at all it's a very good card so for it to be in your crowning energy is very good so you come out of this period of competition battle petty arguments whatever right and you have your ace of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to mean that you're dealing with a water sign it could but it doesn't have to it's it's a new beginning all aces are cups are a new beginning in love right the water is emotion your cup is overflowing with all of this emotion so either you are starting a new emotional beginning or someone has just given you this cup full of love yay all right so i'm going to clarify <coughs> this reverse page of cups in your present why is it reversed what's up with this page Oh, right on the floor. Give me a minute, guys. Oh, well, shit. Okay. It's not bad. <coughs> so, it's clarified by the Two of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Two of Swords, again, all of the twos are decisions. So you have this decision that you need to make um, and you're not wanting to. You see this person has a blindfold. They're not seeing clearly. Um, they don't want to look at things and make this decision. But obviously if it comes up, there is a decision that has to be made and it may pertain to, say, a child, if the page is a child, or if it's some immature message coming towards you, you may need to take your sword and cut this person out of your life, right? <coughs> All right, let's clarify the Knight of Wands in your future. Ooh. Huh, okay. 
more fire energy, more of you guys. Um, so whatever the deal is with this Knight of Wands, you are defending yourself, you're standing your ground, <coughs> you're protecting your shit, protecting your energy, you're not letting um, this person come in and just, um, you know, whatever. Wands is sexual energy, so the Knight of Wands is usually this person that comes in, has sex with you, leaves, whatever, they don't give a shit. You're not letting that shit happen. Good for you. Um, if this doesn't have to do with an actual person, then it's ju it's just you protecting your energy. This forward movement that you're trying to have, um, you're standing your ground and you're going for it. All right, let's clarify this Knight of Cups down here at the bottom. That one wanted to fall out right away. Oh, guys, I feel like you got this before, so awesome. You got the Fool. <coughs> it's an Aries card, new beginning. Um, it's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. It's jumping into this new beginning, not really knowing what's going to happen. Um, it's just kind of trusting yourself and having faith that things are going to work out, right? So, could be with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Otherwise, it's just emotion, just an emotional new beginning. You're following your heart since it's cuts. All right. Awesome reading so far, guys. So it's time for me to pull your Mother Mary Oracle. Um, if you don't want to stick around and listen to me read for you, that's totally cool. Um, you can click off. However, I really love these cards. I think they're awesome. And if any of this resonated with you, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe. So I've only had this channel for two weeks. And I'm really trying to build it. So any help would be greatly appreciated. If you need a personal reading, email me. I have them back within 24 to 48 hours. Unless there's something major going on. And if so, I will let you know. So this is great for you guys and all your fire energy. You know, your fire energy that you have 24-7. And <coughs> your fire in this reading. So... Our Lady of Passion. Okay, what does she have to say to you? Okay, Our Lady of Passion. You might believe yourself to be a very passionate person with a clear purpose in life, or you might worry that you're disconnected from a true sense of passion, unaware of what particular passion may be. Either way, within your heart, there is a seed of true, divine, passionate purpose, and this oracle comes as a message that even if you think you know what your purpose is, there is a deeper awakening about to take place for you. Your purpose is more than a job. It's your way of being, living, and giving on this planet. It's the reason you are here on this planet to fulfill your destiny in service to the great divine plan of love. You have the divine on your side. Is there any greater support and assurance of success needed? Your purpose is to become what you are. That is why no one can steal your purpose or live your life for you. Each of us needs to find our own way home to our heart and to liberate our passion to live our particular blah, 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 particular life path to its fullest. No matter whether our life path seems very spiritual or very ordinary, or more than likely a bit of both at times. Within every human heart, there is a divine passion growing and awaiting liberation. The uniqueness of being a divinely awakening human is to have the purity of spiritual light dwelling in your most passionately aroused heart. To desire, to give, to create, to connect, to express, to heal, to feel alive, to thrive. These desires come from a place within our heart that grows stronger as we mature spiritually. As the light within us grows, we cannot help but search for that which inspires us, that brings us some kind of meaning and connection to our lives. If you are yet to discover your passion, this oracle heralds a time of awakening and asks you to pay attention to what your heart feels over and above the opinion of any other, including opinions of your own that are based in fear or limiting beliefs such as what should be for your age. You're asked to explore your heart messages. Got it? Awesome, guys. So whatever you have going on here with this new beginning and all this fire energy, 
fucking run with it, all right? Find your passion and go with it, all right? Love you guys. Peace.